Uh, I've switched over to this over the Harmony, I'd say about uh, maybe about two months ago. I've been playing around with this one and the, the iRule, uh, both uh, fine remote controls and each of them having their own strengths. Uh, but uh, we've already done a video on the iRule and today I want to take some time and uh, kind of go through the, um, the Ruby remote. Uh, this is not going to be a tutorial and tell you how to set up the remote control. There's plenty of information at the Rumi, uh, Rumi Remote website, and that's uh, rumiremote.com, and you can get information on how to set it up. Uh, I have gotten a few emails from some listeners who've had some issues, and I was able to uh, you know, send them an a answer back and, and get them through it. So if you've got some questions, you can feel free to ask me or um, the Rumi Remote uh, website. They, they've got great customer feedback on their forums. And uh, when I've had some issues, they were uh, fantastic at getting back to me. So what we have here, you're looking at the main roomy remote screen. When you come into your remote, uh, I've got a family room set up and a master bedroom. And first thing we're gonna do is take a look at the uh, family room. And uh, so I hit the family room and all my activities are over here on the left-hand side. In the center part of the screen is the actual remote control. And you can scroll that up and down. And as you can see, you have a full remote control uh, and on the right hand side is the uh, TV guide and uh, I can slide this the guide off screen and I get a little bit more uh, Remote control real estate, but I'm gonna slide it back because I actually like the, the guide on this a Couple of cool features that you're gonna see. I'm gonna move the mouse here and uh, what you'll see here is in the center part This tells you what's on the TV right now and my wife is watching Nikita uh, if this were a live show, I can click this button and it would bring up information about it. Uh, that's one of the drawbacks with the remote uh, as opposed to the DirecTV remote that on a um, recorded show it will bring you guide information about it, but on this remote it doesn't. However, if let's say we want to check this out here, we can click, whoops, I'm using my mouse to click that. Here, let's press that button on the iPad. And it'll bring up information about what's on uh, the screen. Here we have volleyball, uh, World Beach uh, volleyball. We'll close that out. See if I can find something that uh, uh, has here. Let's click on this Rocky Balboa. It's a little more information here. You can see there's information about the movie, the people who are in it. And I can click here and I'll get credits about it with uh, the actors and that sort of thing. We'll close that out. So it's a very rich TV guide. Uh, by the way, that's going to cost you a little bit extra. And the way the Rumi works is you get the application for free. And I think you can have a couple of uh, devices in one room in that free. But if you want to have IR control uh, via the uh, iTac Global Cache device, you have to pay extra for the IR codes. Uh, the, the guide is extra. So when it's all said and done, I think it's in the order of about uh, 40 or $50. But in my mind, well worth it. Uh, another thing I should mention is the uh, remote control is iPad only, or I should, start, I should say iOS only. And don't let that throw you because it's, it's such a good remote control, even if you are anti-Apple, let's say, not just that you don't happen to have an Apple, you're just anti-Apple. It's worth going and buying a used iPad 1 uh, on, at eBay or something at a really low price and using that just as your remote control. And I'll show you, I have some pictures of the various remotes uh, that we use throughout the house. I'll show those uh, a little bit later on in the in the review. Nice thing, if you've got a two-way, uh, and I'm gonna be kind of all over, so kind of bear with me. So if you've got a two-way receiver, a uh, nice thing about that is you can touch this and you can slide the volume. I'm not gonna do it here. I'm gonna demo it in my master bedroom in a little bit because as I said, my wife is watching downstairs. And even though I'm upstairs, I'd be able to change the volume. You can just use a slider bar and, and raise the volume, or you can use the up and down command to raise the volume. Uh, you can mute all that other good stuff. It, and it's two-way, so um, if I change it on this remote control, they've got a Rumi agent that runs on a Macintosh. It, it's not necessary, it's not required, but it does make uh, the changes happen immediately uh, on all the remotes in the house, so it keeps them synced very nicely. Uh, over here like on the left panel, so I'll use the mouse here, we're looking on the left panel here. We have all the different activities that I have. Uh, we have a watch TV, uh, watch Apple TV, uh, Blu-ray. I have control of my thermostat, my automation control panel. I can uh, send a, a command directly to my IR to turn my security lights off. 
of a movie server control TV server and I can just turn the system off we'll go through those in a, in a little bit here uh, I have various remotes on the system these are optional you don't have to have them but if I wanted I can bring up a remote control just for the direct TV and these are all the commands that are direct TV based uh, same thing with the Panasonic TV so if there's something specifically you want to do on the TV you can uh, but otherwise I pretty much spend my my day here in the center portion of the control uh, so I just changed it to channel 8 my wife's gonna be a little bit upset at me here in a second if uh, all goes oh you know what channel 8 we don't have a channel 8 in Los Angeles so it'll just ignore that and uh, let's see what else uh, oh well here's something kind of cool uh, through the use of uh, UR URL schemes I can uh, if I hit this thermostat button It'll just launch into my thermostat controller on my uh, uh, Indigo uh, Indigo um, application for my home automation. And then Indigo gives you an option where I hit this little roomy button down here. And that'll launch, take me back to my roomy remote control. Very cool. So it's kind of, it's integrated in the sense that you don't have to actually exit the controls to go do that kind of stuff. So if I want to raise the temperature, I just do that. And then I've created an automation control panel, and this is my whole house at a glance, and I kind of uh, matched the background and the colors to look like the remote control. And you can see all my IR sensors, my front door, garage door, all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to tap the living room table light, which is on the bottom left of all these things, and you'll see it there. And so I've, I've turned the living room table light on, and now I've uh, turned that off. Uh, over here on the right-hand side, right over here, those are my controls for uh, movie mode in my upstairs um, in my theater room. So I can just hit that and all the lights dim and, and everything just works automatically. I can turn it on and off. And uh, so pretty cool. And I've also created this uh, roomy button here, which takes you back to the roomy remote control. And so it's very cool. Another thing we have is there's an IR sensor we have in the, in the outside of the house. There's a few of them that when somebody comes up, all the lights outside turn on. And uh, if I hit this button here, that just turns off the IR lights. It just turns off the security lights. If I just hit that, it sends a command to the uh, automation server to turn the security lights off. And it does that without even having to, to go into the uh, automation control panel. So it's pretty cool. The other thing I've added are uh, controls for the movie server and the TV server. So if I hit the TV server, you come up here. And now this is controlling my TV server. Uh, right now it's playing music from 101.9 FM, the mix, and that's in Chicago. Um, and I can have different speakers that I want to send that audio to just by tapping that. Uh, and by making it a pop-up, I don't affect the mode that's actually on. So for instance, my wife is watching TV. I can come in here and send music to the various zones throughout the house. A uh, very cool feature. And oh, just really briefly, I said I wasn't going to go into too much detail, but to um, we're going to edit and show how you create it. So you can add your devices here. You click this add and you add a device. Um, and then once you've added the device, you can create different activities by clicking add an activity here. And that'll add the activity. And uh, it's as simple as that. You go in there. Uh, it takes a little time to kind of figure out the details. There's a lot of help online, but uh, I think I had this whole thing set up working in about an hour and then over the next couple weeks just by tweaking with it a little at a time I've, I've gotten it to where we're at. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go to the master bedroom. Nobody's in there right now, so we're going to uh, turn on uh, the television. We hit this button and it sends all the commands uh, to turn on the TV. Uh, you'll notice at the top here there is no uh, feedback from the receiver because this particular receiver that I'm using is only IR based so it's one way and when I send a command it just sends the volume up or the volume down and now there is live TV on so if I click on this it brings up information about the show that's currently on on TV uh, and let's see here if I want to just change let's change to uh, Pirates of the Caribbean we'll hit that and it'll send the, the command and you'll see now in this thing it, it shows you Pirates of the Caribbean at the time and I think if I scroll it'll show you how far into it we are so it's, it's a three hour thing we're an hour and 50 minutes into it 
Uh, let's see, as, as same likewise down here, we won't see the receiver uh, information or the receiver mode simply because as I stated, it's a one-way uh, system. So now what I'm gonna do is switch to the Apple TV and it brings up the commands for the Apple TV. No feedback here. Uh, the Apple TV, while it does have a fantastic remote control that is IP based, they don't publish that information. So uh, outside sources can only send IR commands and, and that's what we have here with this uh, remote control. And I'm gonna turn off the system and that'll send an off command. The other thing about the Rumi, which is really nice is you can add in cameras. So here you're gonna get a view into my family room and that's um, um, actually from it's a dining room looking into the family room but uh, simple as that uh, you just put it in there it's a really nice system some of the limitations of course are it the remote controls that you see here are designed by Rumi you don't have much control in there uh, one the couple things you can do is within the buttons you can assign them for for instance, this button here, let me use my mouse, this button here and this button here I added. Uh, they were unused by remote. And what I'll do on the, the left button is I'll send three sleeper com sleep commands to the TV, which the first one activates the feature, the second one adds 30 minutes, and the third one adds another 30 minutes on top of that, which gets me 60 minutes sleep time. And the one on the right does essentially the same thing with the receiver but that requires seven pushes, one to activate it, and then um, to get me 60 minutes, uh, it takes uh, 10, it takes six 10-minute uh, uh, increments is the way it works on the receiver. I could have easily put it all into one button, but for whatever reason, I decided to put it into two. And uh, like on the uh, remote control in the family room, I have a button, this button here, uh, is the security lights i ended up putting that on the button uh, on the remote because with the latest update of Rumi, it allows you to add a url command to the actual remote whereas when i had created the security buttons on the on the family i'm sorry yeah, on the family room uh, at the time the Rumi remote didn't allow that and i've you know i've just not gone to put that on the remote control itself I uh, see some other features that are pretty cool is the remote itself. Uh, I'm sorry, they have a, um, a URL. Uh, I'm sorry, URL. They have a um, Rumi agent, as I said, which runs on the uh, computer, on a Macintosh computer. And that helps keep everything synchronized. So when a remote, whether it be your uh, iPhone or an iPad, comes online, it goes to the uh, the uh the Rumi agent and says what's the state of the family room let's say and it tells you the exact state and it keeps everything nicely synced up which was a great feature it used to before but it was a little bit um, sluggish and uh, they, I know they have a lot more things that they're gonna do with the uh, Rumi agent it's gonna uh, it cost a little money I think it was uh, nine or nineteen dollars I can't remember off the top of my head but um, I think at some point they may put a timer in there so I don't have to do the sleep timer. I can just say shut down the system in 30 minutes and then it just sends a, a shutdown command. Uh, really cool stuff. Uh, I'm really uh, excited about this remote control and I'm gonna show some pictures here. The first one is uh, the remote control in the kitchen and I've uh, some of you may have known that we put an iPad on the wall in the kitchen it's great for when my wife is uh, doing dishes or whatever or cooking and not just my wife any of us for that matter we have control of the whole system we can turn stuff on and off raise the volume uh, send music to the various speakers right from here and then the main controller is the uh, remote control that we have uh, it's an ipad mini and here it is on the charging stand and it's uh you know we leave it on there to be charged and then there's another one that I have an iPad here. It's an iPad one that we kind of use as a picture frame and controller and all, all the above. But it wasn't until I got this iPad mini that it really got good because it's so small that we just kind of chuck it on the couch and it's a little bit bigger than a regular remote and uh, it works fine. Uh, one of the concerns I had was that uh, having the remote control was gonna be a pain to turn it on but the, this remote, you can set it that when the remote app is running, it doesn't dim, and uh, so it doesn't. Uh, it's always on, which is a nice feature. 
Uh, the only complaint I would have is that if you like doing things just with uh, without looking, you do have to look with this remote control. Um, and that's about the only drawback you have with it. But I have a button that's a two and a half minute skip and it just, um, you know, just goes right away to the skip. It does a two and a half minutes. You hit one push and you don't have to sit there and hit it five times. So that's it. That's a very brief uh, rundown of the uh, Rumi remote. Uh, this is the remote that caused me to give up on my Harmony. And uh, if you uh, like what you see, there's a lot of information you can get about the remote at roomyremote.com. Check them out. Um, as I said, to get all the bells and whistles, it's probably going to cost you about 50 bucks. If you've got an iPad or an iPhone, it's, uh, I think, a great feature. Uh, it's a great uh, remote to have. And if you don't, go pick up one on uh, Amazon and, um, uh, I'm sorry, either Amazon or eBay used. And uh, I think you'll be very happy with the remote control. And if you like uh, this video and you'd like to support the show, you can do all your Amazon shopping through our link. That's htguys.com slash Amazon. You go to the um, directly into the Amazon store, but our uh, code is embedded in there. And anything you buy from them, it, it gives us a little bit of a commission and it helps the show. And uh, you can follow me on Twitter um, at HDTV Podcast. And Braden is at Braden Russell. So we really appreciate you watching and listening and support the show. And um, go check out this remote. I think you really, uh, you'll really like it.